gym are giving me whole whole dad and tillers here and my mind doesn't wonder. I've done everything required for this comp. Everything possible. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like I'm not even I'm not even looking to the fight. I'm just I'm I like getting better with Colin and Team Carbon. So I know the fight, blah blah blah, but the fight's just a fucking fight. As, you, as Colin said, he yeah. sees me maturing and you? you know, putting what put prioritising important things instead of stupid things. And so, not even every day, like people like to say, every day I get better. No, you don't. Week in, week out, month by month, you see yourself making improvements in every department, and especially in the gym. Your discipline is not only in the gym, it's outside of the gym, so you get more disciplined in other things like family life friend life, street life, whatever it may be, be disciplined more yeah. in that. Okay, we're probably going to do about loads of, loads of rounds, at least eight, at least eight, so be ready. Go. I've watched him since he was a kid and fucking I've seen him grow under Colin, under the tutorial of Colin and Brady when he went out to Brazil. And it's just a different animal now. He's hitting honestly hard and, and I can say anyone that I've felt it and I've been hit by some big hitters, like really big hitters. It's not just about the power, it's about the speed, it's the precision, it's the way he's dictating play. Confidence, I think the middleweight was a fantastic move for him. And I honestly, honestly believe we're going to get our first Ghost World Champion that they got to the street. It's not all about momentum and everything going well and everything going your way. It's about the things that go fuck off and pull you back. And then you've got to then pick yourself up, not let that define you and, and drive on. And I think. I think that's that's it. I think that he's done that. I'm watching him in the gym lately. I blown smoke up anyone's ass. It's not me. I don't do it. Do you know what I mean? But he kind of got to blow smoke up his ass because he's that fucking sharp. He's that strong. And uh, and he's doing everything. he's doing everything to his right. He's living it, he's living and breathing it. Oh sorry. Go on there, cunt. <laughs> So the whole idea behind today's workout was we're kind of close to the end and I, I need to find where they're all at spiritually, mentally, physically. So it, it, we do like almost an overkill. So we do a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. Uh, and then I like to see how they fix themselves between rounds, between spars, between sessions. Are they addressing mental issues? Are they looking fatigued? Uh, when they look like they're down, do they pick themselves back up the next round? All little things like that I'm looking for. Uh, it's at this stage, that's kind of what I do every time, every fight come to be honest, and I'm happy with what I've seen today on all of them. So the three that are going out to fight Thailand, they're all obviously fatigued, as who wouldn't be? They've just done 10 rounds, you know, at, at a high pace, very intense pace, good work rate. Every single one of them had a bad round, picked themselves up the next round. So everyone I was looking for I've seen, uh, obviously no, no question of the fitness now, the fitness is through the roof on all of them. So from this stage now, we're starting, it's enough. 
They'll still spar, but it'll be a lot lighter. The rounds will be less intense. They'll have a longer rest period. They'll have something close to how they're going to fight. Uh, I could be happier, to be honest, where everyone's at. Humble. Humble my ass. I just have to clean them out because the coat. Fucking master kick my butt. But you know what, I'm a champion. I'm a patient to clean them out. <laughs> in it, Raph? There's all, there's all. Everyone, everyone has to clean that in here. Everyone, come in and, you know, I know that there's going to be days where it's harder than others. And like today was that. Today was probably the hardest session out of camp. So, yeah, it's really, really. Broke me today, that. It broke me. I've done 40 minutes fast running with my kit on. So that's harder as well. I'm fasting and then I've done the five rounds of pads, tight pads, fast pace as well. It's tough because I, I, I smack with all my power. And then I've done uh, 10 rounds of sparring and then three circuits, three press up circuits, and three sit up ab, ab routines. <sighs> tough morning, mate. Tough morning. Which Cotill is definitely a title eliminator. So, a million percent. That's a reality. Even Dana said it a couple of weeks ago on, on, on ESPN. Do we think about that? Of course I think about that as a coach. Well, do we let Dana think about it? Well, why not? That's the reality of it. He's not stupid. He's astute. He knows exactly where his career path is, what he wants to do, what he wants to achieve. And this fight obviously gives us that opportunity. Are we overlooking which It certainly are. It's a hell of a fight. It's a tough fight. Which is former champ. He wants that title back, I'm sure, so bad. He's tasted it before and he knows he's got a dangerous kid in front of him, a young kid who's up and coming, dangerous in all areas with his feet, his hands. I'm sure he's training as hard as he's ever thought. I hope he is. And the way otherwise it's going to be a, a nice early night for Darren because he's on fire. Do I envisage a tough night? It depends which whisker turns up. He's hinted in the past about him maybe having issues. He felt he was a little burnt out, maybe he needed that time off. If he has managed to reignite that spark and that time off, he's going to be in for a tough night. If he's come back reignited, then I'm expecting a tough night for us. My thoughts are he's probably going to use his wrestling a lot more than people have thought or seen in the past because he, his actual background is wrestling. I imagine he's going to probably try and use that as a tactic, maybe to tire Darren, maybe to make sure, you know, he's, I reckon he's going to move a little bit more rather than normally he fights fire with fire, he's quite a forward fighter. I think he's going to hope Darren's going to commit, maybe take him down, let him get up, take him back down again, try and tire him that way. Um, we should be prepared for.